that's the most interesting question. Um, there seem to be two alternatives. One is to go down this sort of authoritarian route, and the other one is educating the public. And I always go for the educating the public, because prohibition authoritarianism doesn't work in the end. I mean, you look at with liquor, you look in Germany, you look in all these places, it simply doesn't work in the long run. It may work in the short run. And also Singapore is a very special case because it's a very small island and, and it's actually Singapore is a company, not a country. Uh, it's, a, it's a business, you know, whereas in Australia people, I mean, that just wouldn't work. Uh, so it would just lead to unhappiness. And also I think in the long term, even in Singapore, the better educated people are and the better decisions and the better, more comfortable they are with each other, I think a better uh, In the long term, it's much more sustainable. Can you point to a case where you know, education has worked and brought those benefits? Well, I mean, it's a bad example, but on the other hand, if I've looked at a lot of statistics in Cuba. Uh, and Cuba is kind of the bad boy of the world because the Americans have spent a lot of money on, on painting it into this corner. And without making a judgment, you, if you look at medical statistics, health statistics, mental health statistics, all those things, longevity, for instance, uh, uh, are all very good in Cuba. I mean, it has a GDP of about $5,000 per annum per year, per person, and its life expectancy is much the same as the U.S. So there are other models. They haven't been very successful, but you have to ask your question, why are they not successful? Because the other vested interest doesn't allow them to be successful or because they're actually in their not successful. You know, like the Cultural Revolution in China, I mean, in some ways it was a disaster, and especially if you're affected by it. But on the other hand, it did turn over society. The trouble is that these strong men always tend to end up at the top. And so it doesn't matter what the political system is, whether capitalism, communism, or whatever, the domination and corruption usually sets in. The way to avoid that, in my view, is to have a general public that's much more educated and much more participatory than what's happening at the moment.